Hi, I'm Mateo and today we got the first update for Petsco and with that came a lot of content that you're going to want to know about. With 80 plus new upgrades and new content, it can be a lot to take in, but thankfully for you guys, I've been playing since the update came out to find out everything you could possibly need to know about this update. So if this video does help you out, remember to give it a like and subscribe for more. Now let's get right into everything you need to know about update one. All right, you guys, so it is currently 8 p.m. Eastern time, which means that I've been playing this update for about eight hours now. If I pull up my upgrades board, you can see that I am completely done with every upgrade in the game, except of course for the one hoverboard skin that is ridiculously expensive, which is sitting at 999 million. But besides that, we have every single one in the game except for that. So I can pretty much tell you everything about all of the upgrades that you're going to need. Now, on top of that, in update one, they actually increased what the max coin multiplier is. You can now get up to 250x coins in the game. So that is what I'm sitting at. You just had to do a bunch of quests. Now for this video, I made 10 important points, so we're going to go over them in order with number one on that list being the addition of the merchant here. Now I can already tell you guys this merchant is super overpowered and actually gives you a very good reason to be grinding for coins because you're going to need to spend coins to buy all of this stuff. Now to get access to the merchant, it's actually kind of hidden in here. So inside the upgrades tab, you're going to want to go to boost and then go to potions. And then inside here, there is this tab, which is the merchant tree now once you buy this merchant tree you can access this in here now it's actually really important that you buy these in a specific order and that order is going to be buying these three here this private deals upgrade actually unlocks at the final slot in the merchant which actually has the best stuff in the game that you can get so this will be selling you things like instant potion twos threes and cocktails so this is extremely good and then after that you're going to want to buy these other upgrades one by one because once you buy buy out everything inside the merchant and then buy one of these upgrades here that merchants actually going to restock everything it has so you can actually stock up on tons of really good potions by doing this so after you buy this and it restocks you just go ahead and buy everything from the merchant once again and then do the exact same thing buy the next upgrade and then buy everything out from the merchant it's really important that you do this because as you can see with all of these different perks you could basically restock the merchant like six different times and get like six rounds of cocktails or instant luck threes and a lot of the time you can buy more than one or get a chance of it getting doubled after you buy these two so that is straight up just a ton of those potions that can be very useful for you guys so besides just regularly checking the index shop you should also be a hundred percent checking the merchant shop every time that it restarts i believe it gets restocked every 45 minutes or so and the index shop is every 30 minutes now number two is an upgrade that we actually got leaked from big games which is the addition of superior chess so if we go over into the breakables tab we got this addition to the tree that adds super chests and then even more super chests so I don't know why they call them super chests in this game instead of superior, but if you ever see one of these on your map, make sure you go ahead and break it right away because they actually do despawn and I've seen one despawn right in front of me and they are actually one of the most busted things in the game. When you break one of them, they give you like 50 items. And I'm not even joking, like you will legit destroy a superior chest and it will explode with items surrounding you. And it stacks so many items here that it says like plus 50 right here. So every time you see that, just make sure you go ahead and get it before it runs out. Hopefully I'll get one in this video so I can show you the type of loot that you get because it is absolutely nasty. But let's actually move on to number three on this list, which is the addition of bounties. So to get the bounties upgrade, you're going to go here into the luckier tab, and this is going to be where you unlock the three bounties. And then over here, you actually get the addition of the bounty rewards being better. And this last upgrade here actually makes bounty board pets easier to roll by 30%, which is pretty significant. So if you have a very rare pet on this board, it's actually going to be easier to roll. Now, there's actually very little information on how how this bounty board works i've actually gotten this middle one the 625,000 cyberpunk dog three times at least now and gotten my reward of 25 golden dice each time so after you actually satisfy a bounty it doesn't reset so i'm not sure if this is like a daily reset thing 
or what. And there also doesn't seem to be a limit on how many times you can satisfy this. So I've actually gotten quite a few of these golden dice potions today because of this bounty. Now I am going completely out of order because I keep getting reminded of certain things, but over here you can see there is a brand new egg that you can get, which is the mushroom egg that only opens pets that are one out of 10 or better. Now in order to actually use this, it's also going to be in the luckier tab. So if you go into the main thing, click luckier and then go to the bottom right. Right. I believe there are three of these new eggs that you can get with the last one being the mushroom egg. Now, this one's very expensive. This one was also 999 million. And that's why I pretty much had no coins at the start of this video. But this is a very important upgrade to get because you are going to open your possibilities of pets that you can get. Now, another thing you'll see scattered around the map as well as in these chests and stuff, you are going to begin seeing the shiny version of fruits. So with the upgrades in the boost category you can get the ability to find rare fruits as well as upgrade all of these additional shiny fruits and how many you can actually use now just like in pet simulator 99 shiny fruits do the exact same thing as the regular version of fruits just give a stronger buff now personally i don't even use shiny fruits in pet simulator 99 and i'm not sure if it's really worth it to go out of your way to craft your regular fruits into shiny fruits but since you get shiny fruits from regular chests as as well as on the ground you might as well go ahead and use those over the regular and that actually will allow you to use your regular fruit to make more rainbow fruit because rainbow fruit are very important in this game as they are used to make the rainbow dice which is used to bake basically everything else now moving on i kind of lost count at what point we're at here but we need to talk about the new dice that we actually got in the game called blazing dice now by buying the blazing dice upgrade you can actually get a free blazing dice roll i believe every 850 rolls in total now in the description of the potion itself as well as the upgrade you get it doesn't say exactly what it does and i don't think anyone truly knows what the actual upgrade is but from what i could tell it is just a new tier of luck dice over the rainbow so if we go ahead and check the rainbow dice gives you a luck increase to 6.5 and the luck buff from the golden dice is actually a 2.5x so that means we can only assume this blazing dice is going to give you something around around like 15x maybe luck honestly i've used a few of the blazing dice though and i haven't noticed too crazy of a difference but i'd say anywhere between 10 and 15x luck is what i would assume it does and then with this upgrade here it actually increases your roll speed temporarily after using one so definitely a cool feature and something cool to have as just an additional luck that you get every once in a while oh we actually got one of these superior chests here as well so let me break this really quickly and show you the time Type of loot you get as you can see these things have a ton of health so it does take a minute to break but once you break it you can see it is worth it look at all of the items that we get those are a very nice bonus and something i get very happy to see now here you can see some of the stuff that i get from the merchant two instant luck twos is kind of the worst thing that i think you can honestly get in that slot but besides that all of these extra things are good as well all of these lucky potions are most definitely needed now we did touch briefly on the potions but i I forgot to go over the fact that we got all new tiers of all the types of potions so everything from the coins potions to the regular lucky potions all the way to the items potions and even an upgrade that improves the cocktail we got so many different tiers of potions now so it's important to keep track of that as well as getting the upgrades to the vending machine so that you can get some of these high level potions and then on top of that we also got batch crafting which allows you to craft multiple potions potions at once something important to note with this batch crafting is that i think you do get the same level of chance at doubling one of your potions when making things in a batch so for example if you make a ton of these lucky two potions it's going to give you multiple chances at getting lucky and getting double so it's not like pet simulator 99 where if you make things in bulk you're not going to get that lucky chance as often so and i'm losing my mind because i can't even remember if i talked about the instant potion in these vending machines but if i did it inside of the potions upgrade you can get these two down here which actually give you a chance at getting instant potions from the vending machine so definitely something i suggest getting because 
of course those are very needed and you could buy this vending machine out every 10 minutes or so i believe so you can actually get a lot more potions by doing that now moving on to number nine on this list i was actually right in my prediction going over the leaks for this game when i said that i think that one upgrade they showed is going to be a rebirth now i was very wrong in what i thought the rebirth was going to do because i don't think the rebirth is anything like we've ever seen in a pet simulator game but if you go into the upgrades go back and then go to i believe yeah the leveling tab up here you can actually get this upgrade which is xp rebirth now what this does is allows you at level 200 to be able to actually rebirth and lose all of your levels and in exchange you get tons of rewards this xp sensei also increases the amount of rewards you get from rebirthing on top of that now unless you're really pay to win in the game you aren't going to get as many levels as some other people because you get a majority of the experience with some of the lucky pulls that you get so all of the people buying the double luck upgrades are going to have tons more levels than a free to play player personally i'm just about to hit 200 so i haven't been able to see what types of rewards you get Oh, we just got a 1 in 400k off the bat, so that's really good. But from what I heard, it's just a bunch of potions and fruit and just all the regular other items. Obviously, there's nothing too crazy you can even get in this game that would be an insane reward. But I assume it's just a randomized table of different potions and stuff that you can get. And I think to actually do the rebirth, it's going to be in this menu in the leveling upgrades. It's going to be something that you can click here. But besides that, last but not least, we also got the addition of balloons in this update now in order to get this upgrade you're going to go into the upgrades tab go to breakables and then it's going to be a separate tree right here called flying gifts basically all of these upgrades just increase how many gifts spawn and then these increase the tier of those gifts that spawn and then this one gives you double items from those gifts and then right here is actually a very important one that you're going to want to get because this actually automatically fires at the balloon so you don't even have to click them honestly this upgrade is so good that i don't think i have seen a flying gift in probably the last three hours because every time that one spawns i just automatically break it by going next to it by accident but you could tell there are a bunch of these flying gifts around because you will see just random items laying on the ground in areas where you haven't broke a chest or anything so that will be the indication for you guys but let me know down in the comment section what you think about pets go first update honestly i think it was pretty decent and they are planning on updating it again next Friday. So if they keep up this schedule, I think it will keep the game pretty engaging to say the least. I still don't know if it's enough to really overtake Pet Simulator 99 in the long run, but either way, still a very fun thing to play. So let me know what you guys think, but I can't wait to see tomorrow for the new Pet Simulator 99 Halloween update. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one and peace out.